be chilling every day. What's up, Hoopers? This is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And in today's video, we are going to go over how to beat pressure defense. Let's get started. Well, I just got to know how we ain't been different. Why I feel the same in time we kick it. We just kick it with it. Ain't no fixing. Here we go again with it. With another thought that's told in vain. Avoid the pain. Even though we need to say goodbye. Feed the same. So codependent. This hurt and been open-ended. We just been hoping we ain't have to say so in today's video, we are going to talk about what ways will help you defeat pressure defense. Now it's important to learn this because a lot of the times, no matter what position you play, you will face pressure defense at some point in time in a game. So this video today is designed to help you, giving you some tips and a couple of drills to kind of think about what you can do in order to be successful against that type of defense. And the first thing I want to talk about is patience. Being patient will allow you to beat pressure defense because what the pressure D is wanting to do is speed you up, make you uncomfortable, get you out of your comfort zone, make you make a mistake, turn the ball over. So if you're patient, then you're not gonna do that. But if pressure defense comes, now you're in a rush and you're panicking, something bad is most likely gonna happen. And I see that a lot with younger players and even younger players that are in college, whether it's be a freshman, sophomore, whatever. As you get older, you'll experience more things and you'll start to figure out, okay, maybe if I slow down, the more successful I'll be. And that's what happened to me a lot of my career at the young stages. And whenever I see pressure defense, I would panic. I would try to make the play real quick rather than wait and take what the defense is giving me. So the best thing that I can tell you is to be patient when there's pressure defense. Because like I said, if you're speeding up, that's what the defense wants you to do. They want you to speed up. They want you to get uncomfortable and make a mistake rather than sit back, be patient, take what they give you, boom, find the right uh, pass, make the right play. So being patient will allow you to do those types of things. And like I said, a lot of young players, even that I coach, when we faced press defense, we were terrible at handling the ball. Not because we couldn't dribble or anything, but because we allowed the defense to dictate. We allowed them to speed us up, get us out of our comfort areas, took us out of what we were trying to accomplish in the press break. So you have to be patient and take what the defense gives you, and that way you'll be more successful. You'll pick them apart, you'll slice them, and then they won't be able to pressure you as much. They'll have to start to fall back because you've done so well against that type of defense. So again, be patient anytime you're playing against pressure defense, no matter if you're a guard or a big. It's hurting, been open-ended. We just been hoping we ain't have to say it's over-ended, but the wound is open, let it be. All right, so we just talked about being patient and how that will help you defeat pressure defense. Now, second thing I want to talk about is your ball security. You taking care of the basketball, whether that's making a pass, driving to the hole, you know, holding it before you make a pass, it's huge. So again, pressure defense are trying to force a turnover, trying to make you make a mistake where you throw the ball away. Maybe it's either out of bounds or it's a live ball turnover where the defense gets a steal, goes down and scores, and allows them to reset their defense and try to do the same thing. So your ball security is important. So the first thing is when you have the ball. When you have the ball and you're facing pressure defense, let's just say I'm going down that way in the court and they're pressing up, they're playing a press defense. If I'm, if I'm trying to focus on my ball security and I'm in a position like this where I have my head turned the other direction but I'm trying to go that way, then I'm in trouble because I can't see anything. I'm in a bad position where I'm away from the defense, I'm hiding, you know, the ball may be loose, I can't see anything in front. Rather than being in a position here where now if the defense tries to reach, I've got my strong hands here, I'm ripping it across, I'm stepping through to make a pass, whatever direction it may be, I'm strong with the basketball. But if I'm like this, or I'm loose with the ball, I'm standing straight up, I'm showing the basketball, I'm going to be in trouble. Again, if, you're in a pre if they're pressing you and you're getting ready to make a play, you want to be low where you can step and make a pass, you want to be low where you can take a hard dribble and get by the defender rather than being straight up with your back turned towards them. Now, if you're going to make a pass, you have to be sure of it. So when that type of ball security, if you see somebody and you try to make a pass to them, you have to make sure it gets there. You can't throw any float balls or any slow bounce passes. You got to make sure that when you throw that pass, it's hard and it gets to your target as quick as possible because passes, moving the ball with passes is a lot quicker than dribbling the basketball. And another thing I want to talk about, if you're driving to the hole or you're driving past a pressure defender or pressure defense, you've got to be strong and sure of your dribble. A lot of the times when I face a press, I was more confident in dribbling past the press defense because I knew if I can get two guys to collapse, then my team, we would have the advantage. 
So you want to make sure that when you're driving to the hole, you're strong with the basketball. You know what you're trying to accomplish. You know you're either trying to go to the hole or you're trying to make the defense collapse where you can make plays all around the court. So you have to make sure that your ball security is on point. Don't allow the defenders to take it from you. Don't allow them to force you into throwing it away or throwing it to them so they get a live ball turnover and get points themselves. Take care of the basketball, take pride in it, be strong with it, and make the right decisions. Let it be, let it be, love it, set it free, but the end of you and me, I thought this new to me, but I just gotta know, how come when we chillin' everything? All right, now the last thing I wanna talk about is using your dribble. Using your escape dribble to get away from defenders. So a lot of the times, let's just say again, we're facing a trap defense or a press defense. Let's say we inbound the ball and I'm right here. Boom. And the second I see a trap, I start to back up. Now, here's some areas on the court where you want to be careful of doing that. If I was to take an escape dribble and I go back here, this is what we call the coffin corner. Why do we call it? Because you're dead if you're back in here. This is where the defense wants you. They want you all the way in the corner where they can use the sidelines as help or if you step on it, it's a turnover. Don't do an escape dribble like that. If you're gonna use an escape dribble, you get the ball, you see the trap coming. If it's coming from this side, I wanna to dribble towards the middle where I know I have more space, then I can back them up, boom. Now I have all this room to operate. Again, if I dribble up the sideline, boom, I see this trap coming here and I dribble here. Now if I back up again, I'm kind of in trouble because I have the sideline here and I can't go too much away unless if I'm gonna make a pass. But I wanna use, is an escape dribble. Number one, to get away from the pressure defense. So if I'm driving and my defender's guarding me, boom, I can pull back, I can pull back. Now I can reevaluate the situation. Maybe I pull back just to make a pass. Or maybe I pull it back, now I've created enough space. Maybe I get a jumper, or maybe now I've created enough space where I can come back at the defender with some type of move to get by them. But use your escape dribbles in a smart situation. So we're gonna work on a couple of drills that's gonna allow you to work on this type of move in order to create space and to get away from pressure defense. So again, let's just say I'm out here on the wing. Boom, we call this a Stockton dribble as an escape dribble. So if the pressure defense is into me, ah, I'm uncomfortable again. I don't want to turn my back here where I can't see anything. I want to be low. I want to be here. So when I attack, boom, now I can pull them out. Now I've created enough space where I can make a pass or now I can reattack. Okay. So I've gotten in here. Boom, they're pressuring into me. I pop off one hard dribble, now I size them up, I see the court, I can go wherever I want to go, I can make whatever type of play I want, just because of that separation that I created. So in these next couple of drills that you're about to see, make sure you pay close attention to what I'm talking about and why that drill is important and what type of situation you would find yourself in in order to use it. But using your escape dribbles are important, but knowing where to use them. Stay away from the sidelines, stay away from the corners. Be able to use it in the middle of the court to reevaluate situations and make the right play. It's important to do that and it's important to use against pressure defense. So let's get started with a couple of drills to help you make the right, de the right decisions against that pressure D. I just gotta know, how come when we chillin' everything it feel the same, feel the same. All right, so this first drill, like I just talked about, we're gonna be working on that Stockton dribble to allow us to work on an escape from the defender. So what we're going to do, this is if you're being pressured out on the wing. It could be if you're dribbling the ball down the court with press defense. All we want to do, so we're going to start a little bit off of this three-point line. And all we want to do, the defense is into us, boom. We want to attack one hard dribble just to get them thinking we're going to drive. Now we're going to pop it back, boom. Now we're in this position. Now we're going to attack one hard, cross over, get to the rim and score. So what it will look like, I'm coming down, the defense is pressing me, okay. Boom, one dribble, pop off. Ah. Boom, one, ah, cross, change speed, get by them. But you've got to be quick. And why should you be quick when you reattack? Because you've got to go. Before they get back up into you and pressure you some more, you've created just that quick amount of space real quick. Boom, now you're going at them because you're dictating, you have the basketball, you get to make the decision. So the first drill is just a basic Stockton with a reattack. Use this anywhere you want on the court to get comfortable. Work on your weak hand, popping it off with your left or your right. Boom, coming out of move. Double combo, give it to the defender, get all the way to the basket. So this first drill is a double combination move off of the Stockton dribble to use as an escape from that pressure defense. Let's get take a look in full speed. Can you tell me what the deal? I'ma go ahead and tell you how I feel. I just gotta know, can we keep it real? Lately I'm losing, I 
composing myself When it will change When did all the love that we had go away Yeah When did we change When did all the love that we had go away I just got it Got me in my feelings Scared I beat to reach the ceiling And it's not appealing Thoughts that I ain't trying to deal with Cause I'm feeling like I ain't enough And I'm terrified I'll never find another You'll never be another us But why it took me ending us Just get that picture up I wish it was But that ain't us And that was love But we a different us I'm flawless I'm not to blame for all this Alright the last drill we're gonna use in this video If we're sized up against our defender Out on the perimeter We haven't used our dribble yet They're pressuring into us Okay our defense is in to us. We want to jab them hard, make them respect. Now we're going right to a shot fake. They leave their ground. Boom, now we got that advantage, that quick one second, okay? Because even if they're here, you jab, you shot fake. Now they come out of their stance a little bit. That gives you a split second to create an advantage, get to the hoop, make a play. So we spin it out to ourselves. We jab, we shot fake. They come out of their stance a little bit. Now we drive by all the way to the basket and score. Just another option that you can use when facing pressure defense. Patience, ball security, and the dribble away from them to get to the basket are all things we've talked about in order to score against that pressure defense. So this is the final drill of this video. Check it out in full speed. When did we change? When did all the love that we had go away? I just got it. Got me in my feelings Scared I beat to reach the ceiling And it's not appealing Thoughts that I ain't trying to deal with Cause I'm feeling like I ain't enough And I'm terrified I'll never find another You'll never be another us But why it took me ending us Just get that picture up I wish it was But that ain't us And that was love But we a different us I ain't flawless I'm not to blame for all this I ain't trying to say that you was I just know it's time to call it I just gotta know Alright Hoopers Well there you go There's a couple of key points That you need to think about And a couple of drills That you can work on In order to beat tight pressure defense so if you enjoyed what you saw today do me a favor click that subscribe button and join us the think pro movement as every week we're releasing brand new videos to help you take your game to the next level that's why we're here that's what we do at think pro basketball providing the opportunities for any type of player no matter where you are in the world no matter what position no matter how old you are we're here to help you so make sure you click that subscribe button and join think pro basketball and if you liked it today, click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think and what you want to see in the future so we can continue to help you improve on your game. And until Coach Alex sees you again, get out there, prepare yourself to face that pressure defense, and remember to always keep hooping. See you next time.